What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy Farley here, back for another comic update. So these are going to be uh, actually just one title from my pull list from today. And then picked up uh, a couple of other comics while I was at the comic book store. I've got a uh, Master Edition and a, a graded comic to show. So let's hop to it. First off uh, is a new um, seven-part limited series from Image Comics, Cemetery Beach. Uh, I read the story up about this, and uh, yeah, sounded really, really cool. So haven't read this yet, uh, but I'm going to check it out, and I may do a review of this for you. So, but yeah, it's going to be a seven-part limited series. So stoked to check that out. Oops. All right, next we've got part three of Infinity Wars, which is a really, really good uh, limited series as well. I think it's going to be going on for a while. Um, this is number three. This is a variant cover. I'm not sure who does this cover. Uh, looks like uh, Geron and Israel Silva. So... Yeah, man. It's a really, really good series. Now, this is Thanos Legacy, a one-shot, which is supposed to tie in between the Thanos wins and the Infinity Wars. But it's kind of weird. It doesn't have the uh, Infinity Wars tie-in on the front. So, But if you read, this is part of the reading order for the new Infinity Wars. So... Uh, not exactly sure why they didn't do it as a tie-in, but I went ahead and picked that up. So Thanos Legacy, one shot. This is the uh, regular cover. So, so anyway, we'll see what is what's up. We'll see what it's about. I was a little surprised though, um, because the Asgardians of the Galaxy had uh, on the front cover had a uh, Infinity Wars tie-in. So I'm not sure why that does it, but it's still in the reading order. But if you spend all day trying to figure out why comic companies do what they do, I think you'd be uh, busy for a while. All right, so finally have Master Edition uh, number three from the Lock and Key. Kind of sad because this is going to finish this up for me. Uh, I think they're in talks to put this on Netflix. Um, I'm not exactly sure if that's been signed, sealed, and delivered, but uh, anyway, this has just been an amazing um, series, so I'm kind of sad that I'm going to be finishing it when I'm done with this book, but uh, another just beautiful, uh, beautiful addition, the way they do this, um, put this together, is just all class, so, yeah, so like I say, we're going to finish this up, and Figure out what happens at the lock and key. The lock and key. All right. And last, I have my second graded comic uh, from uh, CGC. This is a 9.8 Judge Dread, um, the child, the Judge Child Quest, uh, number one. This is from, um, I think, August of 84. Yeah. August 1984. This is a 9.8. Uh, Brian Boland cover. Love his stuff, man. So, yeah, I was stoked to get this. This is the Eagle Comics who brought the Judge Dredd over to the U.S. So. All right, that's what I've got for now. I uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, I look forward to seeing what everybody got on New Comic Book Day. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of these uh, comics I got. Take care, everybody, and I will talk to you soon. Follow out. All right, sorry I uh, left one comic out. Uh, I did pick up a uh, Bronze Age Horror. This is uh, art by Steve Ditko. Uh, Charlton Comics, Ghostly Haunts, number 27, from 1972. Really, really dig these. Um, Steve Ditko covers, man. So, yeah, stoked to get that. So, uh, I forgot to, to mention that one. But, yeah, it's cool, too. So. All right, now I'm really out.